Yes, it is that time for my afternoon cup of coffee. My mug shot. Welcome to Floss Tube number uh, 14. Is it 14 already? 14, I believe. Let's look. 14. So it's been like a month since I've recorded. And I'm sorry, but I've been so busy. My son is sick, and then he's better, and then he's sick, and it has been constant. So, sorry for the long delay, but I'm back for a video. Um, I have quite a lot to show you, so you might want to grab a cup of coffee, wine, whatever you drink during my videos. Um, I have a couple finishes. Let me take them out right here real quick. So, I finished, let's see. This is, oh, and sorry for the miscolored fingernails. You're gonna, you're gonna see why later. But this is Gingerbread Chalet. Um, it is a Mill Hill beaded kit. This one was fun. It's a lot of fun to do. It's a lot of beads, but it's fun. And then I just back mine with felt. But there's that one. That's a finish. And I finished that one. And I was like, mm, I'm just going to stitch this one. Started and finished this one the same day. This is Autumn Witch. Um, it is just a beaded kit as well. But... Those are my two finishes. Um, if you guys hear like a low like in the background, I have the fan on. Y'all, it's hot. It is hot here in Louisiana already. 78 degrees, humidity is up. We have big storms coming this week again. I don't, I want the cold weather again. Not ready for the hot. Um, but anyways, those are my finishes. Squirrel. This is probably gonna have a lot of squirrel moments today. Um, I finished my whip go for March. It was 15 and 21. Um, 21 on mine was a thousand stitches on my choice, and I chose to do it on just my March Madness in general. My uh, March battle bracket and then number 15 was three motifs on my Halloween Oracle Sal so I got that done as well and I'll show you that in a minute um, speaking of bracket I'm going to show you my bracket so whichever I worked on this was my focus project for the day and I wrote down the amount of stitches that I did in the day and whichever one got the least amount done went on to the next round. Same for here, went on to the next round. We're now doing this round. And this was yesterday. Nope, I missed a day. So this was day before yesterday. This was supposed to be yesterday, the Deep Blue Sea by Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, but I didn't stitch any full coverage yesterday. Um, so I stitched this this morning. And then tomorrow will be Mini Christmas 2 by Cyril Marchetti. And whichever one of these has the least amount done, we'll move on to the semifinals. And then my solar system from its Cross Stitch Nitta on Etsy. And whichever one of these two moves on to here. And then we'll have a winner. And then at the end, I'm going to calculate how many stitches I did on each project. And I will let you guys know on my next floss too. Because I just, I like seeing... That total amount but I've had fun doing the bracket and I haven't been the best about posting on Instagram I'm sorry if you went to follow and to see my progress um, I haven't been the best about posting but since I had so much fun I decided I want to do another bracket um, when this bracket is done so this is my next bracket and it's gonna have my um, eight Harry Potter movie posters by Tilton Crafts that are out of print, sorry. 
And then my Cocoa Time by Ink Circles, my stamped Hogwarts um, crest, and my stamped Hermione cre uh, kit. And then I'm going to do my Harry Potter stained glass is my other one. So I'm gonna do the same idea with these as I'm doing with my original bracket and doing the least amount of progress moves on. The only thing with my stamped kits is I'm just going to have to either count my stitches by hand or focus on a single area and stitch like 10 by 10 square and just see how much I get done that way to be able to compare it to see which one moves on. But that's kind of my my plans moving on with my bracket and stuff. But I just wanted to get all that out of the way while I, while I can show you. And you guys will see my progress on my bracket pieces when I go through my whips. I have a whole basket of whips here to go through. Um, I'm going to show you my haul before I show my whips. Um, so the reason for the green fingernails and fingers is um, I ordered this pattern from my friend Sammy Liz. She has an Etsy called Sasquatch Stitchery, I believe, um, on Etsy. I ordered this one uh, for my husband, who is an avid, avid fisherman. Um, and I was dyeing fabric for a different pattern and it just so happened that I dyed some fabric that this would look good on. So it, that's showing pretty true to color. Um, it's like a, I ice dyed this piece and it almost looks like a, like a lake water. So I ice dyed it with Kelly Green powdered grit dye. Um, the other day when I was trying to dye a piece of fabric for my other piece of haul, which is a soda stitch called Country Farm, and I was trying to dye some fabric to look like, oh, it, it, there we go, that bottom picture there, the green fabric, and I didn't quite get it right, which is fine because I found that 18 count fabric at the thrift store for 75 cents. So if I messed it up, I messed it up. I really wasn't that concerned. Um, but I wanted a piece of green fabric for this that wasn't too light or dark to put these green stitches in. Well, when I ice dye things, I always have, you know, the, the tray underneath and um, I always use that extra dye to dip dye things. If you guys are interested in me making a video of my ice dyeing process, I totally can. Um, I was going to this time, but my son likes to help me ice dye things. And so I don't really want to put him in my videos very often if I can help it. Um, but the tray underneath, I dip dye things. And I always just grab some scraps that I have. And this time, I think I already put the other scraps away. I just grabbed, came up here and grabbed three small scraps. And it just so happened I grabbed a piece of 20 count. And I dip dyed this. And what I did is I just, I lay it just right on top of the dye. And I let it just soak through little sections. And I don't let it sit long. Maybe 10, 15 minutes tops. Just enough to soak up some dye. And then I just hang dry it. I cool rinse, then I hang dry, then I hot iron. That's how I set my dye. I haven't had any problems of it like coming on my hands or my threads or anything like that. Um, I do not wash my dyed fabric pieces when they're done um, because I don't want it to come out. But this piece just happened to be big enough to do this um, chart on when I originally had the giant piece for a couple charts and I was like hmm well that works I can just do this smaller piece that I liked for this and then the bigger piece 
I can just take a section of it and do the ink circles pattern. So that's kind of where I'm at there. That's the reason for my uh, green fingers there. And then the rest of my haul, I got um, some stamped kits. I know not everybody watches unboxings and floss tube extras and stuff like that, but I did a floss tube extra of unboxing um, some stamped cross stitch that I got from newcraftday.com and I have some more on the way um, but if you don't like watching unboxings that's fine I do have them here with me and I'll kind of just show them quickly I'm not going to take them out of the packages but I'll show you which pattern or which kits I got um, the boogie stitcher Ashley is the one that got me started on stamped kids. She kept showing them and I was like, I kind of really like that. And so I wanted to try one. Well, then I ordered some, um, eight of them is what I got. I, the story behind that is in my floss two extra. But anyways, here's what I got. So my first one, is this country theme like barn and horses and ducks and I just love it so there's that one and then I got the Hogwarts crest and it's kind of like a watercolor look that I am going to do a stitch along with with the boogie stitcher Ashley I haven't started mine she started hers already I need to catch up to her um, and then we're going to do a stitch along with this. And then I got this one. It's called Winter. If you know me, you know I like Christmas. And I got this one called Midnight Snowman. And again, these kits are from newcraftday.com. The other few that I got will be in my whips. Um, I have all my whips in order of the order I worked on them. So let's just start with let's start with this one. This is my Halloween Oracle Sal. There's a group on Facebook called um, I think it's just Oracle Sal. But um, there's a lady doing this pattern on there. And I really liked her color choices because it's charted for just a single color. And so you could choose your own colors. But I really liked her color choices. So I asked her if I could use her colors. And she said, of course. So this is a screenshot of her finished piece. And these are the colors that I'm going to be using for mine as well. But my, um, my whip go was to do three motifs on it. And so I finished my three of my motifs. So this is the very center. And then I did these two as well. And I'm doing mine on, I think this is, let's see, it's on 18 count black. So that's that one. That was my March Madness I finished that oh. okay up next is my rainy day stitch which i pull out every time it rains or snows or precipitates of any sort of way um this is called harry potter stained glass and i got it on etsy all i have to do i don't remember the shop that i got it from Ooh, look at that paper. Um, you just have to search Harry Potter stained glass and you can find it. That's what it'll look like. Um, I've worked on it twice in March and one, two, three, four, six times in February. And every time it rains or anything, I do 200 stitches. And that is where I'm at. 
this is done on 22 count and I'm doing two over one yeah two over one up next oh that was in a project bag that I made these. I'm trying to stay organized, you guys. Okay, this is another project bag that I made. Um, on the inside, it's a Velcro top. This is apricot polka dot temperature stitch. It is the quilt temperature stitch. I'm using my own color. Um, what do you call it? Color chart, color colors. We'll just say colors. Let's see if I can find a picture of what it will look like. picture somewhere I do this every time you guys I need to print out the picture maybe that's what I'll do okay that's what it'll look like when it is complete just different colors like I said one because it's a temperature chart and it changes for every day that's where I'm at I think I'm like four days behind but I wanted more like earthy tones because that's more my style. So. Up next is part of my bracket. This is um, Deer Creek by Heaven and Earth Designs. Artwork is Donna Gelsinger. And this is on I believe this is 22 count, um, two over one, full cross, I have made it all the way across the top, and I started working my way down. Um, this, I have a love-hate relationship with this and my Gone Fishing pattern. I like the patterns. I just haven't really been loving stitching on them lately, so I'll need to uh, start stitching on those more regularly. Speaking of Gone Fishing, uh, Mini Gone Fishing is next. It is on 22 counts, 2 over 1, uh, full cross. This is the one that I restarted. I had the full size, the regular size, but I scrapped it and restarted it as a mini. Um, I'm kind of doing a modified parking method on this one. It's only gonna be this big now instead of it was like 36 inches wide by some ginormous size like it was huge but that was on my bracket as well all of my hates were on my bracket um this is autumn magic by randall spangler heaven and earth designs This is a regular, it is on 28 count, one over one. Trying not to unfold all of my fabric if I don't have to. Again, 28 count, one over one. 
Start in the top left corner. And I don't know how many stitches I've done on these for March Battle, but this one got worked on three times in the month of March. This is Mini Trick or Treat by Randall Spangler, Heaven and Earth Designs. It's also on 28 count. Um, 28 count, one over one. This one only got worked on one time for the month of March. There's my progress. This one had some pretty good progress. Um, let's see. Mini Trick or Treat had 282 stitches. So not bad for a day. Um, like I said, it's my, dang it, dropped it. It's my focus project for the day for my bracket. So that's like what I focus on. If I want to stitch something else, that's fine. But this is what I focus on. Um, up next is Heavy Nerve Designs General Store Max Color. It's an Amy Stewart. Um lesson learned make sure your fabric is going the correct direction before you start stitching um this is on 22 count two over one it got worked on twice but i had to restart it i had 600 and something stitches done and realized my fabric was not facing the correct direction so now that it is, I started in the middle. Instead of pulling out the 600 stitches, I just start, restarted it in the middle. I have no idea what I'm stitching yet as far as like what part of the picture I'm stitching, but I will eventually. Um, yeah, there's not much on this one. When I restarted it, I got about 300 stitches in. What next is the one that I got my personal best on for a day of stitching. This is Mini Farmer's Market by Amy Stewart. Um, I'm doing it on 28 count, one over one. I worked on it two days. And the day that I started it, um, I did 800 stitches in a day. That's a lot for me. So there's where I'm at with that one. Um, I love stitching on this one. All the colors, the details coming out so fast. I'm loving it. Up next is, this is one of my stamped kits. Um, this is called, I think it was just called Girl with Flowers or something like that, but it's Stay Trippy Little Hip. I'm gonna rechart the E. I'm gonna chart it a Y and put it down here because it's supposed to be Stay Trippy Little Hippie. So I'll be recharting that. So that that makes sense. Um, yeah, all the colors in these are insane. I love them. I worked on this one, I think four times. I like working on this if, in the evening because it's a bigger count fabric. I don't remember if it was 11 or 14 on this one. But you can, you can kind of see where I stitch. 
I stitched all this up here that's filled in and then start stitching right here so you can kind of see where I've stitched but I stitched on that one like four times and like I said I like stitching on this in the evening because it is like 14 count so it's super easy for me to see all the crinkle guys sorry I have to get my other project bags made so this one can have a project bag. Okay, up next is Mini Christmas 2 by Cyril Marchetti. Um, this one is actually in the quarterfinals. It's already been worked on twice. And I'm starting to get quite a bit of color coming in already. So I'm excited about that. And this is in a bag that I made. Up next is Mini Magic Study. This one only got worked on one time for the bracket. Artwork is by Rose Kahn. This is rainbow version, it says. <clears throat> There's my progress. I love the bright blues and purples, and I got that red butterfly in there. This has been fun to work on. Different colors than what I normally stitch, so that's fun. Okay. Up next is another bag that I made. This is my solar system bag. Another Velcro top. There's the inside. It's like a metallic, shiny. And I started in the center. Picture of what it looks like. I have one somewhere. Okay, so there's what it will look like when it's finished. Um, and yeah, I started in the middle, so there's the moon coming in. This one's fun to work on as well because of the different colors. It is on 22 count, two over one full cross. Up next is another stamped kit. Um, I think it was just called Genius Girl, Genius Witch, Genius Girl, something like that on the website. But that's reminding y'all, let's be honest. Um, this one is 11 count, so it is way bigger. So there's, you can kind of see where I've stitched. And yes, I traveled a lot, I don't care. Um, over here, right here, up here, brought it down, oh, not right there, all this, and then came down here and worked on the crest on a robe. So, I've stitched a little bit everywhere on her. Up next is by Tilton Crafts. It is called Wheel of Fortune. Um, artwork is by Takaki. And this one got worked on one time as well. It got 311 stitches. And it was a new start. 
So, no, nothing exciting yet. And this one was a limited time freebie on the Heaven and Earth Designs group. It is called Deep Blue Sea by John Enright. And I seen it and I was like, hmm, yes, all the blues and colors. I'm doing it 28 count, two over one tint. And it's been worked on twice for my bracket. Um, roughly 550 stitches. Um, the bright colors, this is the coral already coming through. This was my test to see if I was gonna like tint. And I did, I liked the coverage. It gets really good coverage. Okay. Up next is another new start. This is Family Winter Ca Cabin by Heaven Earth Designs. Amy Stewart is the artwork. I'm doing it 28 count, two over one tint, and it got worked on one time. Um, and it got 359 stitches. And this right here is where the owl is in the sky on the pattern already. Some pretty purples that I did. And then up next is another stamped kit. Um, this one was called Scary Pumpkin, I believe. I'm going to show you right side up. Isn't he adorable? Um, I just worked on his lantern. You can see the stitches. I just worked right here. But isn't he cute? All this yellow and blue... The yellow is 939 and the solid blue square is 154. So it's literally navy blue and purple all the way around him. But I love love it. He is so cute. So I'm not even going to complain until it comes time for me to stitch it. And then I'll complain. Up next, I worked on this one yesterday. Um, Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix by Tilton Crafts. This is out of print. Um, I did it 28 count, one over one. This is the first time I've worked on it this year. Um, this is full cross. And so far it is just Take, take a guess on what color it is while I try to get this dog hair out of my stitching. Yeah, 939. So, it's like 700 stitches of 939. Um, just right there. And there's more to go. I think is why I don't choose this one to work on as well. Because it's got a lot of 939 before you get to details. But it will look good when it's done. It will look good when it's done. I just keep reminding myself. It will look good when it's done. And lastly, I've been working on this one yesterday and today. This one is called Craft Village. It's from New Craft Day. And it's like a soda stitch type deal. And I worked on it today and yesterday. You can kind of see where my stitching is at. And here is the stamp side. So I stitched over here, a little bit right here. I'm just kind of taking it. I start over here and 
get a symbol, get that thread on, and then I just work and until my thread is gone. I found that's the easiest way to do it for me. So, but that is all of my whips um, that I've worked on since my last video. If you guys, like I said, if you guys want a, if you guys want a video on ice dyeing, let me know. If you guys want to see more unboxings, I have two coming up. For sure two coming up. I forgot to mention... I'm doing my temperature stitch as a stitch along with Rogue Mama Stitcher. And the Whip Go videos and stuff are from Jessie Marie Does Stuff. And Boogie Stitcher roped me in with those stamped kits. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Ashley, the Stitching Penguin, is doing the Harry Potter posters as well, and she does full coverage. Um, but yeah, I think that's all the ones I need to mention this time. Uh, Sammy Liz, she has her Etsy, and she makes floss tubes, and she stitches some cool stuff. But other than that, I think that's it. So I will let you guys go with a semi-short video. Sorry if I went super fast. I have my family home today and I just took this short opportunity to make my video. And I'm gonna go wrangle a six-year-old while I cook supper. Wish me luck. Bye guys.